So speaking of Christ, a church in Joplin, Missouri, the church is named Ignite Church. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, the head pastor, Heath Mooneyham, <laughs> had a good. special Father's Day promotion uh, last week, obviously, Father's Day. Uh, and it was it was a plan to get more people to come to Ignite Church. Now, if you were a church and you were thinking of Christ-like ways to get more people to come to church, what would you what would you think? You know, maybe maybe be more open to everybody. You know, mm. not 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 you know not not knock down your uh, LGBT brothers and sisters. You might think. What would a Palestinian socialist carpenter do? Yes. In other words, what exactly. would Jesus do? Yes, you know, uh, yeah. maybe even maybe if you want some of the younger people to come on down, maybe you know, hmm, I got to think of a sermon that'll really get them in. Let me try to you know use some relevant pop culture quotes. Mm. You know, maybe some uh, some new music, bring in some lyrics or you something. May have that covered. Or or like a, a TV show that all the kids are watching. You know. Yep. But um. But basic if, brand stuff, here. Yes, basic, basic marketing. Yep. But if you're the Ignite Church of Joplin, Missouri, and you are head pastor Heath Mooneyham, your idea is to give away raffle, uh, give away raffle tickets to win one out of two AR-15 rifles. Uh huh. That sounds great. Let's go to the video. Hey guys, Pastor Heath here. Just want to give you a quick update. We are in the middle of our Taking Ground series. It's been awesome so far. This last Sunday, we had a party out on the patio. It was awesome, incredible. Can't wait to preach a message on excellence this week. And so be sure that you're here. It's also Father's Day. That's kind of what I want to talk to you about. Everybody's excited, uh, rightfully so, because Pause we made it. the announcement that- Rightfully so, I'd like to add, rightfully so. And just enjoy the modest mouse in the background. I guess they I did guess get the music part. They down. did sort of get the music part yeah. down, right? They listened to me. Although Modest Mouse was a brand new hip indie rock band, maybe what back in the early, very early, like literally the year two thousand, two thousands. Literally, I'm gonna cut him some slack on that one. Only fourteen years behind, but let's 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 go back to the tape. Uh, we are giving away an AR-15 uh, <laughs> to a lucky father on Father's Day. And uh, the overwhelming response to this has been incredible. And so we was actually kind of more than what we was anticipating. So we just did what we, was what we do well. And uh, we responded to the overwhelmingness of the situation. And so we thought, crap, a lot of people are going to be ticked. And uh, how are we going to do this? Are we giving it away first experience or second experience? And the truth is, we're not telling you. Um, but what we are going to tell you right now is that we're going to give away two of these stinking guns. You know why? Because stinking we can, guns. and we're awesome like that. And uh, we actually have a lot of good friends that s stepped up to the plate in this. And so and know, right. we are giving away a Smith & Wesson AR-15 uh, to somebody. But that's that really is just kind of like breadcrumbs. Like you can you can kill a, a weak zombie with that thing. But if you really want to double tap a zombie in style, you're going to want our grand prize. And our grand prize, you ready for this? is a Black Rain AR-15 from our good friends down at Black Rain Ordnance right here in Neosho, Missouri. And so these guys make incredible weapons. I actually own one myself. It is my favorite weapon, period, hands down. This is the Lamborghinis of AR-15s. And so we're the giving Lamborghini away Sunday. of AR-15s. So not one, but two. When are we giving it away? Sunday. You gotta be at church. If you haven't signed up yet, we're actually going to open back up registration, and so get your butts to church. If you're late, don't cry to me that, that you're a pansy and you cannot set your alarm. All right? You're a big boy. You got big balls between your legs. You're a dad, right? Get up. Set your alarm. Don't be a wuss. Get to church. Register, because we're giving away a Smith & Wesson AR-15, and then the grand prize is to one lucky dude, you're going to be the proud owner of a Black Rain AR-15. This Sunday, 
I also want to say that some of you might be feeling screwed right now because you're like, I did exactly what you said, and I came to church last Sunday, and I signed up, and yada, yada, yada. Well, guess what? You're awesome, so you get to sign up again, so you get to double your chances to win, and so you got twice the opportunity as all these other chumps that decided oh to stay God. home last week, you know? So, good looking out, kid. It's awesome. <laughs> Keep doing the right thing. You make America proud, and, and Uncle Sam's proud, and Jesus just had a little tear because he's so proud of you. Awesome. Keep coming to church. Don't be late. Share this video with your friends. Actually, don't share it with anybody because that's the less people that'll show up to church. More chances for you to win. That's good marketing don't, right there. Don't try to that rig it good. either. We got security with black rings. So, anyways. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Pastor Heath Mooneyham. Let me just let me just pull out a few of these quotes from this video. Just to, you know, you could kill a weak zombie with that thing. But if you really want to double tap a zombie in style, you're going to want our grand prize, the Lamborghini of AR-15s. Uh, I mean, technically, when Jesus rose from the dead, I mean, I don't think he wants his, his congregation to double tap Jesus Christ with the Black Rain rifle. But who knows? Uh, don't cry to me that you're a pansy and you can't set your alarm. You're a big boy. You got big balls between your legs. You're a dad, right? <laughs> Hells yeah. Hells yeah. So, uh, the Joplin Globe caught up with this guy. And, um, they asked him about this stuff. Uh, we thought instead of a lot of small things, we'd give away stuff the guys were interested in. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't even... I'm sorry. Hey, I just, need, I just need to jump in for a second. Two quick things. One, if Jesus came back, this guy would be like, get a haircut, fag! You're, You're pansy, a loser, you pansy. pansy! Why don't you nut up and get an AR? You look like a chump! You look like a chump! What are you, girl? Get a haircut! Number two... This is the type of thing, like, you know, we talk about automization, okay, and, like, robots replacing workers. Yeah, what are we supposed this to do This is going to replace us. We, we, our whole job is to give subtext. That's this guy gave all of the friggin' subtext. This guy There's is nothing the, left for us to do. This guy is both the video and the parody video. <laughs> he's literally both he's the both. video and the parody video. Wait, he's got more. The Joplin Globe's got more exclusive with him. Uh, if we get people in the door, we get to preach the gospel. Head preacher, head pastor, Heath Mooneyham said. If we can get more people to follow Jesus, I'll give away a thousand guns. I don't care. <laughs> and then he uh, reminded us all that guns don't kill people. And then he referenced Cain and Abel <laughs> to uh, hone in that it's people who kill people. People are crazy, period. Murder has been going on since, like, the beginning of time, man. The first murder recorded in the Bible was with a rock. So, you know, why don't we just, you know, just let it happen, man. Just let's speed up the process and, you know, give them guns. Uh, maybe Kane should have had to do a rock background check. Yes. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's the right lesson. Maybe. And uh, Mediate points out that uh, this actually isn't an uncommon occurrence. Isn't an uncommon occurrence as of late with uh, churches having gun giveaway promotions. A Kentucky Baptist church held a stake in gun giveaway back in March. Because, uh, I mean, this Joplin, Missouri guy, uh, Mooneyham, he's really got to pick up the pace because uh, he's going to go around talking about chumps and, uh, and uh, you got big balls in between your legs because you're a big boy. Uh, buddy, I don't see you giving away stakes too with your uh, AR-15s. Yeah, what are you, vegetarian? Yeah. Come on, man up. And then a Baptist church in Troy, New York, held an AR-15 giveaway in March as well. Uh, didn't Ron Paul... I know this isn't a church. I, I think Ron Paul gave away some type of gun thing. Unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. Uh, I don't know. I really... I. There's nothing really to say I, about I, this because he's done it all for us. Just uh, remember to double tap Jesus if you see him rise from the dead again. And uh, that's the moral of the story here, folks. Uh, tip your pastor as you head out. Guys, didn't that reverend learn anything from the Joplin tornadoes a few years ago? 
it would have been great if one of the winners brought up his husband to claim their prize. <laughs> well, the problem was that they didn't have their AR-15s back when the Joplin tornadoes came through to shoot at the tornadoes. <laughs> if they had done that, then the tornadoes would have gotten scared and went away. Because, you know, the only thing that stops uh, bad weather is a good guy with a gun. <laughs> 